Good day everyone. We are on bearing and distance. Bearing simply means direction. Why uh, distance on the other hand is the length between two points. We have uh, different types of bearing. We have the compass bearing which has to do with the use of the cardinal points in north, uh, south, east and west to uh, major the direction and uh, we also have uh, the three points are bearing wherein all the measurement has to be taken from the north pole the north pole here in a clockwise direction so the three points bearing has to do with the measurement from the north pole in a clockwise direction the question we have on the board here is uh, um, three points of bearing. A ship sails 17 km from a port A on a bearing of 55 degree and thereafter 30 km on a bearing of 128. What is the distance and bearing of the ship from the port A? So I have the diagram here showing the question. We have the port, the ship sailing on a bearing of 55 degree, 17 kilometer to this point, I'm going to name it B. Thereafter, changes its course and sails on a bearing of uh, 128 degree, 30 kilometer to this point, I'm going to name it C. So the question is to calculate the distance between the ship now and the port. I'm going to name this distance between A and C, small letter B, the opposite side of this, small letter C, the opposite side of this, small letter A. Here we are going to make use of the cosine formula. For us to understand bearing well, we have to understand the uh, two rules, the sine rules and the cosine rules. According to the cosine rule, the square of D is equal to the square of A plus the square of C minus 2 times A times C multiplied by the cos of B. I believe this is clear. If it is not clear, you can refer uh, yourself back to the books containing the sine rules and the cosine rules. We have A here to be equal to 30. So we have 30 square plus C, 17 square, minus 2 times 30 times 17, multiplied by cos B. We have B here. We do not know B yet, the angle representing B. So we're going to look for the angle there. By Alternate angles, we have here to be equal to 55 degrees because alternate angles are equal. If you read angle between lines, you will see that there, that alternate angles are equal. And to know this angle here, all we need to do is to subtract 128 from 180 because it's on the same straight line with angle 128. And the sum of angles on the straight line is equal to 180. Therefore, this is going to give us 52. 180 minus 128 will give us 52. So the total of B now will be equal to 55 plus 52, which will be 107 degree. All right. So let's plug it here. 107. The square of 30 is 900 plus the square of 17. 17 we give us uh, 17 square we give us 289 minus 2 times 30 times this 17 times cos 107 we give us it's going to give us negative 2 times 30 times 17 cos 107 
will give us negative 298.22. All right. So we now have 900 plus 289. 900 plus 289 plus negative times negative will give us positive 298.22. So we're going to have 900 plus 289 plus 298.22. We give us 1,001. 487.22 so that is our b square to get b we take the square root of both sides so b will be equal to the square root of 1487.22 which will give us square root of 1487.22 which will be 38.56 kilometer. So B is going to be equal to 39 approximately to the nearest kilometer. Now, to look for the bearing of the chief from the starting point, we have to know the angle here. This angle here has to be known because Three points bearing, the measurement has to be taken from the north pole here to the line, which is joining to C. So to know that angle here, we're going to make use of the sine rule. The sine rule states that the sine of A over the opposite side of A is equal to the sine of B over the opposite side of B, that is small letter B. So we have our A, we do not know it, sorry. So we retain it, sine A is equal over the small letter A is 30, equal to the sine of B, our B is equal to 107, over the small letter B, which is 39. Now, let's cross multiply. And then resolve directly. We're going to have sine A equal to 30 sine 107 over 39. Let's quickly do that. Thirty sine one hundred and seven. will give us 28.689 approximately, divided by 39, will give us 0 0.7356. So to find A, we say A will be equal to the sine inverse of 0 0.7356, which is equal to sine inverse an inverse of 0.7356 will give us 47.36 approximately. But the bearing, which is, we can have it to the lowest form, I mean uh, the nearest degree, which is 47, the bearing is like this, measured this way, so to calculate the bearing, we add 55 to the angle here, which is 55 plus 47.36, which will give us 102.36 degrees which is approximately 102 to the nearest degree. So the bearing of C from A is 102 to the nearest degree. That is what we have here. If it is not clear, you can backward your video 
and uh, what he 